Now, we've seen that U.S. actor Chadwick Bosman has died at his home in Los Angeles after battling colon cancer for four years. The 43-year-old actor was best known for his role in the film Black Panther. And on that note, we are joined by actor, author and playwright Dr. John Kani on the line to tell us a little bit more about his experience of working with Bosman. Well, Dr. John Kani, good morning. I dare say good morning. I mean, obviously, waking up to the news that Chadwick Bosman has left us at the age of 43. Having the privilege to work alongside him, you know, on, on various projects. I mean, you, you got to know the man, the character that has uh, come, that we've come to love and know over the years. I mean, what are some of your fondest memories about him? What do you cherish the most about working alongside him over these years? Chadwick, um, I met Chadwick when we were filming Captain America Civil War, and uh, that was the introduction of King T'Chaka in order to move that into the Black Panther. And the first thing he said to me, Hello, Baba Unjami. I thought, oh my God, where did you hear that? And then he told me, No, Baba. I did a movie in South Africa, and the guys in the group, they called me Tamiafi uh, with Nisiposa. And that was the beginning of a relationship. Mm, just looking at uh, the battle that he has had for the past few, four years, you know, obviously ultimately succumbing to colon cancer. I mean, were you aware of his condition? And, and if so, on set working alongside him. I mean, how did he, did he not allow that to, to, to impact his work? I mean, many, many people only coming into the knowledge that he passed away of colon cancer um, today. Not at all. I, I mm. had a, a, a call this morning at about after 2 a.m. from Atandwa. My son was in New York. Mm. And he said, Dada, I want you to hear it now. Chadwick has just passed away. I knew that he was not well, but you never sort of think how serious the person is. And uh, he was such a wonderful energy and, uh, I mean, an uh, exciting young man on set. They all called me Baba, Dupita Ninyongo, Danai Kurira, and uh, uh, what you call Angela Bassett. Mm -hmm. And Connie Chume was the strength of all the group of the women, you know. South Africans played a critical role in the making of the Black Panther, not just as actors, but also all of us as cultural and language advisor. It was an incredible sort of period. I went to Ghana to speak about Black Panther, its, its impact on the African child. I went to Bagadugu in Burkina Faso also to speak about that. And it just the movie and Chadwick's performance as mm. a king was incredible. One time I would never forget, we're sitting on set and he looks at me and says, Baba, are you pleased with me? I said, yes, what do you mean? He said, no, no, the way I play this character because I want to be as African as possible. And that was incredible. And so was Ryan Kugler, the director. I'm so sad now that uh, they are in pre-production for Black Panther 2. And there has been rumors of him not being well and what would happen. I'm just so blessed to have had a relationship with him. He continued to communicate with me way beyond and even early this year, just when I was in London. He said, I just read that uh, you are in London, Baba, doing a play. Uh, is it coming to America? I said, hopefully. That was even before the COVID lockdown. So it's very rare that you retain a, a relationship, you know. You do movies and you move on. You may see those people, you never see them again. But Chad, it was a gift. His commitment to Black Lives Matter, his commitment to equality of treatment of African-American actors within the Hollywood industry, his great love for the art and respect for the continent will always be remembered and his contribution to the African film industry, which, which put us so the center of Hollywood at this time with Black Panther and Captain America. Mm. Well, Dr. John Kani, of course, leaves a lasting legacy. And as many of us fight back the tears, again, thank you very much for joining us here on Weekend Dawn, just to, to echo the life and times of the late Chadwick Bosman at the age of 43 to coming to colon cancer, and perhaps uh, what the experiences were like uh, working alongside him on the various projects over the years.